Welcome to today's developer update. I'm Jeff from the Overwatch team. This is a very exciting one because on May 23rd, 2016, we launched Overwatch and we really didn't know what the reception was gonna be like. And it was absolutely amazing. And we are so fortunate here at Blizzard that so many of you came along for the ride and not only played Overwatch, but fell in love with it like we fell in love with it. And you guys really made this game your own. And now this universe belongs to you. So in order to celebrate the anniversary of Overwatch, we will be having our Overwatch anniversary event. I think there's gonna be a lot of cool stuff for many of you for different reasons. First off, there's gonna be an anniversary specific loot box that has some of the most amazing items we've made to date. For example, Hanzo mains have been asking us for new Hanzo legendary skins, and there's a really great one in here. We hope you enjoy it. Same with Zarya mains. We've heard a lot of talk about wanting a new Zarya skin, and it's in there for you. There's also a great Lucio skin, and we're doing some very special experiments with that one to see if we can try new things. Um, we were putting two new songs on the Lucio skin that adapt both the healing song and the speed song uh, to the style of the skin, which is sort of in this jazz style. So we really hope you guys enjoy some of the skins we've made. Extra special in this anniversary loot box are dances for all of the heroes. Our animators had a ton of fun exploring each of our characters and asking themselves, you know, how would Soldier 76 dance? If you went to a party and you saw Reaper, what would he be doing in, in his dance? What would Reinhardt's dance be? We hope you have fun unlocking these and checking these out and playing with them in, in game. We look forward to sort of the funny moments that we expect to come out of that. So lots of cool loot box items from the anniversary loot boxes, more than I'm gonna mention in this dev update. But there's also cool permanent content coming as part of this anniversary event. And we wanted to talk about some of that with you as well. So for the arcade, we will be adding three new arena maps to the game. Arena maps, if you guys remember, are things like Eco Point Antarctica, which are smaller maps that we can do some different modes on that enable you know, really fun and different gameplay types. So let's talk about some of the, the maps and modes that we're gonna add. We are gonna add a Black Forest map that takes place between the Black Forest uh, um, outside of Eichenwald and Eichenwald Castle itself. So sort of between where the last Bastion the movie took place and the Battle of Eichenwald. So there's a really cool Black Forest map um, that features a very unique design to it. You can shortcut to the enemy spawn almost instantaneously in this map if you want to. So immediate clash of action. We're also adding a map called Necropolis that takes place outside of the Temple of Anubis and takes place at night. This map is a lot of fun because there's some special story elements here. You can see an area where Jack Morrison is hanging out, waiting to gain information from Ana Amari, and Ana Amari's workshop and hideout is in this location as well. So we hope you have fun with that. There's also a really cool pit in the middle um, with some interesting jumps that you can do both across the pit and down into the pit and still live. So we hope you enjoy the ne Necropolis map as well. Lastly, we'll be adding a map known as Castillo. Castillo is a fort that looks out over Dorado. In fact, you can look down and actually see the entire Dorado layout down beneath you takes place on the beautiful Mexican coast, and it features a really cool round design to it, which encourages almost immediate action, but a really cool circular flow to it as well. We think you'll find it a lot of fun. You'll also see some cool story hints in here. You'll see Sombra's hacking den, and you will see the bar in which McCree uh, and Sombra were in the Reflections comic. So both of those things are, are things to look out for. There's also a cool Los Muertos alley off to the side. 
So three new maps coming. These maps not only will be added for the anniversary event, but will persist and be a part of Overwatch from now on. And you can access them not only in the arcade modes that I'm about to talk about, but in custom game as well. So that brings our total arena map number up to four. So these new modes, first of all, Let's talk about elimination. We're gonna change how overtime works in elimination, or I should say sudden death. So the way it used to work is after a set amount of time, you would get a warning and then it would reveal both characters. But we found there was a lot of frustrating moments, in particular with characters like Roadhog or Soldier 76 with their self-healing who could sort of avoid the enemy as much as they wanted to and force a draw to happen we're changing this dynamic completely. What will happen now is after a set amount of time, we will give you a 30 second warning. At the end of those 30 seconds, a capture point becomes available, usually in the center of these arena maps. And once that point is available, whoever captures it wins. So that means the days of Symmetra in Eco Point Antarctica, camping out in her spawn room the whole time, waiting for the enemy to come, and if the enemy doesn't come, force a draw, those days will be gone. You now need to go out and fight, and if you don't go out and fight, that capture point is gonna end the match very quickly. In our internal pl play testing, it's playing really well. We'll watch how you guys play it, and we'll do some tunes um, tuning and tweaking and adjusting when we see, you know, just how long should it take and are we revealing it soon enough. But beyond the tie-breaking me mechanism, which we're excited about, we're adding two new ways to play elimination. And in the custom game options, you can set these to any player amounts you want. But in the arcade for anniversary, first of all, we'll have something called limited duel. And what limited duel is, is each round when it's a 1v1 mode, and each round when it starts, we will give you and your opponent a random three set of heroes, but you guys have the exact same three heroes to pick from, and you can pick any hero you want. And what this does is create a lot of fun um, sort of play and counterplay. What you're trying to do is figure out, you know, not only what hero are you best at, but what hero stands the best chance against the other two heroes that got selected. So there's some really interesting rock, paper, scissor type of decisions in the limited uh, dual mode. And this mode, again, will be available in custom game and you could try it with you know more than just one player if you want. Um, we really look forward to seeing what you guys have to say about that. The other thing that we're adding is a lockout elimination. And the way lockout elimination works, first of all, for the anniversary event, we're setting it to three players. And the way that this works is both teams select whatever three heroes they want, kind of like how elimination works today. But as soon as your team wins with those three heroes, they are locked out and you're not allowed to play them again. So if your team picks Roadhog, Soldier 76, and Ana as your composition, and you win the very first round of that elimination mode, well, you're not allowed to play Roadhog, Soldier 76, and Ana again. They're now locked out for you. Um, this came about as uh, a community suggestion. We thought it was fantastic. We've been playtesting it a lot, and we really enjoy it, so we hope you enjoy it as well. Again, all of these options will have extra ability for you to tune and tweak them as you like in custom game. And we highly recommend you start playing around with these new maps and mode in custom game. So that's just the tip of the iceberg. Some of the fun stuff that's coming as part of the anniversary event. Really, we want this event to be a celebration of you, our fantastic community. We would not be where we are today without you. This game absolutely belongs to you guys. I consider us just the custodians of Overwatch at this point. It is your world. You are the heroes. You're telling us what's going on. We cannot thank you guys enough for what an amazing year it's been, and we look forward to the year in front of us. Thank you.